Right, I know what you're thinking. Who's that idiot playing that game right over there? That's right. Last week, when I was playing this game, I was referring it to those that remain. The whole way through the video. Something that I only noticed afterwards. Yep, that's right. I was editing it, cutting it down. And then halfway through, I realised the game's called Those Who Remain. Hi everyone, Respawn Rusty here, and I'm going to show you a game called Those That Remain. This is Respawn Rusty, and today I'm going to be showing you a game called Those That Remain. I'm going to be showing you a game that's called Those That Remain. Those That Remain. And today I'm going to be showing you a game called Those That Remain. Anyway, um, let's try and get that right this time, shall we? Maybe there's someone in this diner. Where's the lighter? Oh, damn. Okay, it looks like it's it's resumed exactly where we left off. Alright. It is difficult to see. Let's see if we can go in here. So all those shadow people all around us going inside Hello? this diner. Anyone? Damn, no one's here either. Where is everyone? Ooh, that's good. Right, disappearances continue. Fear rises in Dormont as yet another resident disappears. Lloyd Eldridge, 62, was last seen leaving the post office late in the afternoon. The sheriff's deputies and volunteers searched the surrounding woods but found nothing. An unofficial source mentioned that a group of men with glowing eyes were seen near the post office at that time. When asked to comment, Sheriff Matthews said that the community shouldn't be alarmed and that ghost stories are for children. Okay, so around here very quickly some cake I like some cake look at all this food everyone must have gone in a hurry oh wow okay I didn't look down the side of the diner I I don't know whether I should do that first actually employee of the month note here let's read this i don't want anyone going home at night while these disappearances is oh, sorry disappearances are left unsolved lock the door when you're closing the diner and call me if you need a ride cop okay there's nothing in here excellent what's this oh i see it's coffee i've heard to order food in this place Um, okay, find help at the diner. Let's go and have a little look down the side just before we go exploring in there, actually. Um, I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. There's probably nothing here. Ah. Oh, what's that? I remember that there's a picking up button and I don't have my lighter and it looks like I can't go round there just yet anyway. Um, oh. Is there? There's a key there, do you see that? Okay. Um, I don't know if there's a way I can get down there. Or is, it, or is that just there for you to see? Do not block this window. Keep clear at all times. Okay. Well, that was blocked. Uh, let's leave that for now, but let's just be aware that there's actually a key down there. Uh, okay. Alright, let's go downstairs first then. Succeed. Another note. Library heist. An unaccounted number of paintings and art craft pieces were taken last night from the Dormont Library. Official sources claim the burglars gained entrance by climbing through the emergency fire escape stairs. Sheriff Matthews declined to answer it if the authorities have any suspects. Okay. Oh, okay. So we need a light on in there. Right. Oh. 
Okay, wasn't expecting that. So, does this mean then that we can't explore in here quite so safely? Well, we know there's a key in here. There's there's the window that we, that we was looking at. Right. Let's. Oh, because we unblocked the window. Of course, we've unblocked the window, so we have the light down here to actually. Get the key. Where was it? Now that's a. Was it actually up there? Where do we see that? Is it in here? We saw it through the um. Through the tabletop, by the looks of it. Uh, anyway. I can't see anything there. I think that's probably all we came down here for. Let's go upstairs. That makes me think of Silent Hill. Double check, there's nothing there. We've got lights up here, so I think we're safe here. Get to the library. That is really eerie. Oh, is that the library? Okay. I'm guessing that's the library. Oh, this is cool. Look at this light. So, what can we do with this? Oh, we've switched it on. Can we twist it? Is that going to that fire? Just double check. Just making sure that I can't actually twist it. No, I can't. Um, I think all we've done there is light the way to that fire that's just there. We might be able to run, run to that. So let's get on with that. Let's carry on down here. It's definitely, it definitely feels quite a lot more eerie. Okay, what was that? That was a save sign, wasn't it? The problem with playing these games a little while after is you don't know. You don't quite remember how, oh, how it's played. Or will I get... Oh! oh. Okay. What's this then? Shit, what in the world is that thing? Alright, so I think I need to dodge. Stay out of his view by the looks of it. He's got a cone of light in front of fire escape stairs. Where are they? Am I gonna be able to run around this thing? Where are the fire escape stairs? Are they down the there? Right, okay, so he's there. We'll call him Stanley, shall we? Definitely not able to go this way. Where are you going, Stanley? Where are the stairs then? I'm a little bit freaked here. Let's run. Not sure where I'm going. Okay, not there. Where's the stairs then? Where are the stairs? What am I supposed to do here? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Can I climb up that? Can I go up? Ooh! <coughs> no, I can't go up that. Okay, so let's try that again. Maybe I can reach the fire escape stairs. I, I see the fire escape stairs, but if that's the ones that I'm supposed to be getting to, 
the car. There's something to do with the car. Uh oh, don't. Don't look into my eyes, Stanley. Stanley, that's it, you keep walking that way. Keep walking that way. That's it. Let's stay away from them. Can I get on this bin? Oh, what's this? Picked a cane up. Okay. Well, oh, I'll reach the stairs with the cane. Well, there we go. You're right, Ashley. Okay, right. Let's get out of here. I think I must be safe now, unless that's got some kind of special super jumping power. How was I supposed to go through that door? No. no. Okay, let's get on the second floor. Go in. Yes. Just double check on the top. That's definitely blocked let's go back down okay oh, I, I fell down then I mean I can see better in the room now but that is a freaky Stanley Has he got a hand on his head right let's go in here what's that thing no, that was Stanley So we're inside the library now. And this looks just as safe as it was outside. Check out some of these rooms. I'm I am afraid to go into some of the shadows, obviously. Nice. Okay. What was that? Another chair. On. So that's the quiet study. I won't go in there because I'm quite noisy. Theological readings at now. Can't go in there. Just have a little look. See if I can see any keys or is there a reason why that's blocking? Obviously. Right, okay, let's have a look in here. Some stuff to read. See what it says. Souls are like paintings. Sometimes a beautiful canvas hides a dark paintings. truth. Let's have a little look at the paintings then. Well, what's the chances of that? First painting I tried. That's not usually my luck. Usually it's the last one. Tragedy, tragedy in Dormont. One year ago today, Dormont was left in shock following the news of Annika Kryazura's accident. The young girl was riding her bike near the sawmill when the, she fell down the cliff. Annika left us at the tender age of 13. We wish peace for her family. Was that the 13-year-old girl that we heard about earlier? Annika? Dad. Is this the same girl I just oh. saw? Ah, okay. Well, she definitely didn't look like a 13-year-old when I was talking to her there. Okay. So it's the girl that we saw on the road before we ran away from the person that she called her mother. Surely that's not all I went in there for. I mean, can I go in that door? How weird. It just seems bizarre that it's, that's all that's behind that secret bookcase. 
Okay, carry on. Let's see what's around here. Got a door here. That sounds like the noisy room. Luckily, we're not going in it at the moment. What's that called? That's called uh, periodicals, whatever that is. Oh, it's, that's the toilets. Okay. So we've got a couple of doors there. I think there's a door here. That doesn't open, thankfully. Oh, look down there. That's scary, isn't it? Right. Clayton Marius reading room. Bit of a mess here. Just double check. I can't get down there. That's good. Is this out of a fire? It's not. Can't be good at it. If I came in over there, it wouldn't make sense. So it looks like we're in some kind of strange realm or there's something weird happening because all of these shadow things, they're here and we don't even know why yet. Um, I'm sure stuff like that will start making sense soon. Ooh. How old was I? Annika, are you dead? Uh, how old? What does this mean? Okay. I would guess that she's dead then. The candles are numbered. Okay. I'm sure that has some kind of significance. Laptop. I interact with that. That looks safe. We'll stay away from that for now. Obviously, we won't. Number two. What happens if I... Strange. The candle sets a light if I touch it. Okay. It's a shame we don't have more candles around. That we can just light up. So there's obviously a sequence here, I'm guessing. Um, now, is it a sequential sequence? Or is there a code? Let's see if we can find something that gives us an indication of that. Nothing here. The good thing about the collectibles or, or the items in this game is that they do flash. Oh no, here's Stanley. And Stanley has a nice pair of boobs. Again. Right. So, actually, Stan, Stan Lee has just become Stan Letter. Let us stay away from her, then. Okay, there's a light here. There's a Stan Letter there as well. Gotta be something I can do here. Should we go through? Oh, so what's gonna happen? Let's just try eight. Remember what I told you. What did she tell us? I have forgotten already. How old was I? Got a memory like a goldfish. I forgot what she told us. Wasn't paying attention. What did you tell us? Okay, that light's gone. Stand letter. Run, just run. Get out of here. Oh, shh. Okay. I was running as fast as I could there, and I couldn't get away from her. I can't remember what she told us. So should we f should we light these candles in a sequential order and see if that works? So I need to find number one. 
This is going to be a pain. Right, five. So what do I do? Because I can't crouch. What do I do? Does she, does she hear me? Or does it hear me? I don't know what it is, do I? Okay. Oh, there's another... Is that another five? Did I already see a five? That's a two. Where's a one? There's a one. Okay. That's a one. Candle sets a light, but yeah, we know that. Okay, we need to stay away from Stanletta. Remember what I told you. Okay, it's not a sequential order. By the looks of it, I'm guessing that number one has gone out. I don't remember what she told me. I wasn't paying attention. How old was I? I asked if she was dead. I cannot remember what she told us. What did she tell us? How old was I? Oh, 13. Okay. Where was the one? I think if I if I run around really quickly. So we need to find the three. But you didn't tell us that, Annika. We found that out by reading notes. Okay, so hopefully. I was thirteen when I died. Okay. Maybe this but you didn't. That door. But you didn't tell us that though, did you? Okay, I just heard the door shut. So let's just run through that now. So I heard the door open. Oh, it hasn't. Are you looking at me, Stanlietta? So, what doors opened? There's no objective. Was there a door? Was there a door upstairs? I, I don't recall. Help me! Put your titties away. Right, I'm going to go downstairs and see if we've got a door open down here. What is that? Okay. So we're back in that... that underwater... world. That opened the door. It's not a time... Is that a timed thing? That looks to me like it might be a... timed... What is that? Okay, so do we need to, can we go in any of these doors? No. Let's just look around it very quickly. I don't exist, yet I'm here. Hello? Okay, that looks quite normal to me. Okay, so what do we do here then? Um, we're in this strange world, and it looks like that door does stay open. It's not timed. So I don't feel like I have to to race race through. I can walk around here. There's that way through that door there. Um, so basically, we, basically, it looks like there's multiple multiple dimensions, realms. Sorry, I can't speak properly at the moment. 
um, and we keep flicking from one to another and I'm not really sure what the what that means at this stage um, all I know is that we can influence objects and uh, the environment in one realm by uh, manipulating them in another so now we're back here and I'm guessing she's still here which she is So we open that door downstairs. That's where we need to get. Oh, the layout's changed. And the candles have changed position as well. Can't interact with them though, which is a good thing. Does this mean it's gonna be harder to navigate past her? Where is she? She's downstairs now, okay. So, how do we do that? Can I see her? Okay, she's coming back upstairs. Haha, <laughs> you can't see me, you can't see. Now, would that have been the thing to do? To go around here. If I do this, I can skirt around here. I'll get down there. So let's do that quickly. All right, now on this level, He was sat there, so there's definitely nothing there. Look, the chair here, that's where he is in the other realm. Whatever he is. So now we're in here. Okay, go down these stairs. So you're making faster progress now. What were they doing here? Is that what I said? Stuff to read. Nothing there. Okay. Paintings. Some kind of cult. Okay, let's read this. Dayzak. Not sure if that's how you pronounce that, but it sounds good to me. The Demon of Vengeance, also known as the Lord of Darkness. Um, it's not clear where Dayzak came from. Some scriptures mention he was a fallen angel. Others say he was a created in Avernus, the infernal regions, the lower world. He was always attracted by injustices, particularly by the death of innocence. Whenever that happened, Dayzak took great pleasure in punishing the guilty, slowly playing with their emotions while trapping him in an enclosed area. The interesting fact is that he didn't judge the guilty. According to the scriptures, he always chose someone else to decide their fate. Okay, Dayzak. Okay, so that's interesting. Right, now that door is opened up so I can go into another realm now. Loading time. We are each our own devil and we make the world our hell. So, whatever that thing is upstairs, that's quite a freaky um, aberration, if is that the word, uh, that's obviously after me. Guess I must go through the house. Okay, so it always seems like we're going through buildings, like it's very separate locations. Just double check that there's nothing here. And I can't go around that car. I definitely don't want to go anywhere near those. Okay. No, same old trick won't work again. Okay. Is that something on the wall there? <gasps> Stay away from that, you stupid twonk. I think I was led to this place. Okay, I should check. Um, so it's dark there. It's a light switch. Switch that on. Clear these rooms a little bit faster. Okay. Ah. That'd teach me, wouldn't it? Okay. Double check. We won't do that again. 
Whenever you see a pretty light, Russ, it doesn't mean to flick it off every single time. We've got a laptop on there. Um, fire. I can't see anything else here. It's locked out. Dot eleven, not the password. Okay. Is that an indicator that that's actually nothing of importance at all? Nothing there. Okay. It's getting a little bit bright in my room again. Seems the sun has come out to play. Okay, nothing in there. About here. Check here. Surely be something in one of those there's a light switch there let's flick that on then okay so that one's locked let's open all of these up and see nothing so there's probably nothing in it, any of these at all Yeah, he still wastes the time looking. That one's locked. Okay, let's read this note first. Mark, come home from come home after school. We don't want you outside after dark. I'll call at seven PM to check if you're home, Dad. So Dad and Mark lives here. We know so far. Can't do anything else. So juice, milk, waffles, jam, fruits, ketchup. Cool. Dr. Vobak, Volak. That looks nice. That looks just like the people that's actually outside, the shadow people. So am I to assume then that other people are affected by this? I think it seems we can assume that. Now, why would you flick that light, Russ? Hang on, where are we? No surprise. No one is here. Now, if I flick that, oh, what an idiot. Okay, so that, there's no indicator. Do you see that? That that light there, I'm guessing is on already because the light's lit, but it's red. That one was red before I flicked it. Or does that light have no relevance at all? Um, is that just saying that there's a light there? Because you'd think that it'd go green or something just to show that the light's on, or be red if the light was off or whatever. Uh, anyway, I flick that, and you can see that this light on, light come on in here, in this little bathroom. Okay, and there's nothing in it. Not bathroom, toilet pair of slippers I could use those what was that I heard some strange noise okay there's nothing in here let's go and read this dear mr. and mrs. Harris I'm writing this letter in connection with Mark's attendance record Mark has been absent for five classes out of a possible 16 in the last four weeks that's quite a few this represents an absent rate of 31%. I'm enclosing a copy of the attendance record for your information. Your child's academic attainment suffers if he continues to miss school frequently, so I am asking you to ensure that Mark attends regularly in the future. I understand that he went through a tough time during the last year, but if he continues to miss classes, he won't be able to improve his grades. Please do not hesitate to contact me if you would like to discuss this matter further. Yours sincerely, Cindy S. Fredericks, head teacher. Okay, so this is Mr. and Mrs. Harris's house. So there is a mum, there is a dad, and there's a boy called Mark. Whether that's any relevance to the story is a different matter altogether. So let's carry on. Andrea wanted Rosie to learn how to play the piano. She would have been a great pianist. Okay. So far, I'm getting stuck on a lot of chairs. 
there is a lot of objects to interact with, like in particular empty drawers and cupboards. But not all of them. There's no there's no modern art. There seems to be no sort of pattern about what I can interact with or why. Anyway, I think we've done all of that. That looks nice. This door chained. There's no way I can open this with my bare hands. Okay, so there must be a key for that. I'm guessing. What was that? Did that just pop in? Did. I don't even want to look behind me. But why did that door close? What closed? What closed? What closed? I don't know why that closed. Hey, you all right? What are you two doing in there then? Hey? Hello. You, sir, can you hear me? I can hear something. Does the floor look really wet or is that just over polished? I can hear something in there, but I can't see anything. Don't flick lights that you don't know. Because what's happening? I'm just switching bloody lights off. Have I just lost all my... I've lost all my progress. The check. I forget the checkpoint system on this game. I'm a little bit confused. Okay, we know that light's off. I think when they're down, they're off. So that's on. And there's the garage, garage, whatever you want to call it. Um, okay. So. That looks nice. There's the bolt car. That's, we know what that's for, don't we? It's not a key, is it? Why is that there? I mean, this would be a light. It'd be flashing if it was something I could actually pick up. Okay. Right, we have that door. Is that that same door? Does it keep closing? It does, doesn't it? Okay. And we can't go up there because they're there. It's dark. No. Illuminate the first floor. Okay. So. blood there. I think that's blood anyway. That looks like blood in this light anyway. Can't switch it on. Ugh, I hate clowns. Okay. It's not immediately obvious why I'm here. Is that a cupboard? Oh, yeah. that's right. Okay. Something I, I did check. Okay, so we're back in the house. This is the different realm. And... Or time, whatever it is. Now... I can't see any of the scary looking things in this realm. Like the shadowy, shadowy stuff. Is that a different note? Nope. 
and that's exactly the same note. So it does feel like it's... Um, where's that light switch gone? Oh, I lit this up, didn't I? Nothing in there. Okay. Is it just as simple as going upstairs then in this light? Or going into that room at the back to see that guy? Let's see. What What's really eerie... Um, is that you know in the other realm like if we're in the same exact spot at that same time but just in a different dimension different um, timeline or whatever it is then I'm st stood amongst those things right now <laughs> so is he in here then? because we heard that noise in here he's not Nice. Very nice. Okay. Not seeing anything here. Okay. I think we just have to go upstairs. By the looks of it. There must be a switch or something up here. Okay. I'm taking a chance on this. I'm going to guess that the room we're going to step out into has some sort of light source. No? Okay. It seems to me that that was a waste of time. Now this one is on. That one's on. So we know that we don't want to switch any of those. I was just wondering why both those light switches are there. They're sort of a bit misleading when you first come into the game. Into this house, should I say. Um... Okay, let's carry on now, because we know that was the baby's room. And we're not going to flick that light, because I'll get... Oh, hang on, look at that. Those lamps. <gasps> let's go back down there. there. There must have been some sort of purpose for this. You can't pick the lights up, but can you push them? Or can you, can, yes, you can push it. Do you think that's it? Then, would that influence that? Do you think, should we give that a chance? Should we give that a go? Let's see if that, has any um, effect none at all okay I'll try that again ah there's a light there it's sometimes or most often than not it's a matter of opening your eyes Something that um, I'm not always good at doing. Which is quite funny, actually, because I've actually got a pair of eyes. Okay, I'm not going to flick that switch, because we know that's on. All right, let's read this. Mark is having a tough time coping with Kenny's death. Okay. Hell, we all are. A father should never have to bury a son. So there was two sons. But what else can we do? He doesn't listen. He doesn't want to talk to us. Dr. Voback says he's becoming violent and aggressive. And Lizzie, she tries to hide the pain with pills, spends day and night in bed. Maybe I should see the psychiatrist too. So it looks like there was two sons um, and one's um, died. We don't know how yet. And Mark's obviously not deal with, dealing with it very well. Okay, I don't think there's actually anything in here. I mean, it's a load of drawers here, but do we really want to make a video about opening drawers? That looks cool. I'm guessing this is Mark's room. I am still trying drawers. Computer. 
Can we inter interact with that? No. There's a note here, though. Let's... In memory of Kenneth, your life was a blessing, your memory a treasure. You are loved beyond words and missed beyond measure. Maybe this was Kenneth's room instead then. Okay. I don't see anything of any real relevance there other than a bit of lore. Hearing some sounds. This must be Mark's room. Pick or treat. Just double check this door opens up. Oh yeah. Okay. Is this mum and dad's room? It's a little bit. Oh, it didn't completely light up, did it? There's a lamp. There's a lamp over there. Would there be any reason to go over there, though? Dr. Voback asked me to write about my feelings. He said it would help, but how can anything help with the loss of a child? I just don't have any strengths to get out of bed. God forgive me, we still have Mark, but I don't feel any joy in living anymore. I wish Stephen would understand. I wish I had his strength. So it looks like dad is Stephen, mum is Lizzie, and then there was the two sons. Okay. Now there was something in that drawer, which shows that there is stuff in some of them. Happier times, I guess. Okay, now I don't want to step over there, but I do wonder if there's going to be something over it in that corner of the room. Okay, let's go into, oh, there's another door here that's pretty scary. What was that noise? Can't take a shower. But we need to take a shower. The amount of times I've uh, painted my pants. Doesn't look like it's a bit grim for toilet reading. The king in yellow. Okay. Let's go into Mark's room. It must be something in there. We will see where we go with this. That door just closed on its own. And it's locked. Please don't. Scare me. seen this somewhere nothing there okay not sure what's actually the purpose of being in this room there's more drawers now I do number one history class was boring as usual why do we even need to learn old crap number two saw the weird kid today I think she lives with her mum outside De Mont. number three me, Des, and Hayden spotted the new freak while playing football. Her name is Annika. What kind of name is that really? Anyway, the most amazing thing happened. Des dipped the ball in a puddle of mud and then threw it at the girl. Hit her right in the face. I couldn't believe it. The weirdo ran away crying with mud all over her face. Des has a great throw. I hope he gets that football scholarship. Number four. Des is grounded for the week. Apparently he forgot to close a drawer in the kitchen. <sighs> That's harsh. Hayden is helping out his dad in the store. That leaves me with no one to hang out with. I was so bored that I decided to follow the geek, Annika. She rides her bike through the woods. I guess she really lives outside town. I miss Kenny. 
Number five, the gang was finally back together again. Hayden found a dead rat and brought it to school. While I distracted Annika, Des and Hayden got her backpack and stuffed the dead rat inside. When she opened the backpack in class, she screamed like a child and started crying. I laughed so hard I almost fell out of my chair. Number six, have a 20 page report to deliver tomorrow. Don't know where to start. Uh. Number seven, we were sent to detention today for playing a stupid prank on the weirdo. Me and Hayden will be up all night, but Des, he'll be in huge trouble with his crazy father. Sorry, me and Hayden will be all right. Anyway, no video games for the next 10 days, great. Number eight, Des was acting strange today. I don't know what his father did to him this time, but the punishment must have been bad. He was wearing long sleeves on a hot day, hiding bruises again. It's all Annika's fault. Number nine, Hayden got into a fight with Bobby today. Poor Hayden didn't put up much of a fight. At lunch, I threw a bowl of rice over Anakin's head. Annika's head. Anakin. <laughs> Anyone laughed at her? Sorry, everyone laughed at her. We're definitely the coolest kids in school. I really miss Kenny. Number 10, Annika always rides that stupid bike of hers. That thing is asking for a serious prank. Is this the same Annika? Mark was bullying her. That's interesting. I haven't seen that before. Is that some kind of decision making thing? Or is that a note that's quite important to know? This might be some kind of past. I don't know. It's, it's bizarre. Because. That's freaky. Follow me. Annika? I, for the life of me, I don't know if that's a... I've just killed myself. What? I, I couldn't see. I couldn't see if that light was on or off. Don't tell me. So she wants us to follow her. We don't know where she's gone. There she is. Forgive or condemn. What are you asking here? Um, she's asking me to forgive or condemn Mark. I see. So that's uh, that looks like that's going to be a decision. I decide. Decide what? You're not making sense. Well, I know what she means. How do we decide? Explain it. It has to happen to me. Now decide. Forgive or condemn. What the fuck is that, Mark? Is this hell? How do I forgive then? I forgive. You can decide when you know everything. What the fuck? Find. You want me to judge him? That's interesting. Okay. So it looks like we have to find out more information about Mark and his motives for for being like that to Annika. And I hope that was a checkpoint. No. Follow me. Well, that's an indicator. Uh, maybe in Kenev's room. Okay, there's definitely something weird here. People change. To Mr. and Mrs. Harris, after a few sessions with Mark, I can make a preliminary report about his psychological status. Be advised that this is very preliminary. I recommend more sessions so that we can better ascertain what to do. It only took one conversation to conclude that Mark had a very strong connection with his brother Kenny. His death left Mark his death left Mark deeply troubled and behaviorally traumatized. When he talks about the time they spent together, he only describes moments of joy and happiness more than a friend and play partner. 
Kenny was also Mark's role model. Since Kenny's death, Mark is unable to describe a moment of joy. He feels alone and lacking guidance, a vacuum created by his brother's loss. Mark seems to have made new friends to make up for this. From the little time he talked about them, they mostly spend their time doing sports or playing pranks on other kids. I suspect some of these pranks might be a bit violent, although he didn't want to talk too much about the subject. I believe this is the way Mark found to cope with Kenny's loss. He's projecting that anger on other kids by making them suffer too. Mark is deeply troubled and in need of counselling and guidance. My recommendation is that we schedule two weekly appointments from now on. Sincerely, Dr. Voback. So that's why the doctor was there. Um, so let me just read over this again. From this little time we talked about them, they mostly spend their time doing sports or playing pranks. Okay. Mark didn't take his brother's death well. Seems that Marky here was a sweet boy before his brother died. It was only after that he became a heartless bully who loved to see others in pain. But the fact remains that Annika is dead because of him. So now you decide. Should Mark Harris be forgiven? Or pay for his crime? Shit. I don't have a choice. Well, yes. Quite an easy choice for me to make. I don't know if everybody else would be supposed to choose one. <laughs> forgive. Ah, <laughs> condemn. Let's forgive him then. Condemn, young boy. Yes, he was a bully, but he too was a bully. Oh, wow. I enjoy that. That is something that does interest me. The house has changed. Does this mean that Annika's going to be pissed at me and hunt me down the hallways? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just keep running. Keep running, Russ. Run. It's getting darker. It's getting much darker. Have we done the wrong thing? Have we done the wrong thing? Oh no. Oh crap! She's back. Where do I go? Stay away, Margaret. Hi! Don't get me. If I stand here. How do I get past that then? Okay, is there something I can do? I don't know what to do. Is it one of these doors? Yes? station huh. um let's let's call that episode there and we can carry on with this um next time anyway respawn rusty out